What is up, YouTube? Today we have a wonderful new trailer from Star Wars Disney, and this is Rise of the Skywalker, because everybody knows Disney makes the best Star Wars movies from the first one, uh, Force Awakened. Yeah, that's right, Force Awakened. It was such a great movie, I definitely remember the name of it. And then we have The Last Jedi, which was the pinnacle mwah, of the greatest Star Wars that was ever made. And then there was this one that's coming out, and everybody knows that Disney has yet to fail us. What's up, YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci, and you're about to watch Da Vinci Reacts. I'm also leader of the Renaissance crew. If you're looking to join that Renaissance crew, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and you too will be a part of the Renaissance Army. Now, I, I did speak one truth out of that entire first segment, and that is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has a new trailer. Now, it says the D23 special look. I think D23 is some type of Disney thing. I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer. I'm looking forward to see just what they decide to do with Rey's character because God knows I hate the way she was made in the first two movies. It's alright, I'm, I'm cool, I'm cool. You know, sometimes that happens with me whenever I start thinking about Star Wars. Force powers don't work like that! Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this and see how this plays out. I don't know about you guys, but so far I'm liking this movie. Oh man, look at that suspense, build up. F fantastic character designs, a proper romance story. Oh wow, uh, not only a cliffhanger, but a twist. Yes. All right, well, the movie got a little, it dropped a little bit, but it's still all right, I guess. I'm interested. That purple lightsaber. Oh, man, was that the origin of the other guy in the other one? This is your fight. Okay, what the hell is this? What the hell just happened? What happened to that good-ass movie they did this show? I guess Poe has turned into Nathan Drake all of a sudden. Okay, that's a cool shot. Evil C-3PO. Your journey. Yes, it's in. Was that? Oh, oh, okay, Ray. Okay. And did I hear Darth Vader in there for a second? Are they suggesting that Darth Vader corrupted Rey? So many questions and more on the next exciting episode of Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. But, yeah, um, okay, time to recap. So Rey has apparently if not flat out turn to the dark side is playing with it maybe to trick somebody or I don't know it just it just comes off as a bit too easy the fact that they just gave us that scene so to me this says that there's more to it behind the scenes if you know what I mean all that just rhymed it was not intentional I'm a beast like that but either way I'm curious to see what uh, Palpatine's role in all of this is now I think that he's probably or at least they're suggesting that he's gonna be the one to corrupt Rey and Darth Vader is gonna be sprinkled in there somewhere I think I don't know how that works out exactly because I'm pretty sure Darth Vader has redeemed his character the last time we saw him I like how Poe is just walking around like Nathan Drake all of a sudden. He looks exactly like he came straight from the Uncharted series. 
and that desert locale or whatever it reminded me of something from one of those games i forgot what trailer it was for the, one of the uncharted but whatever we have uncharted poe my dude finn got no screen time in this except for the group shot that had everybody that doesn't count because everybody was a part of that so i need you to give my man finn some type of screen time let him be the one to fight against uh evil ray or whatever you want to call her death ray but either way, you gotta give Finn some type of screen time. The man deserves it. Now, as far as my opinion about this movie, I'm not sure where I'm gonna fall in line with. I, I mean, I wanna look forward to it, but the problem is The Last Jedi ruined so many uh, loose ends and some open storylines and they just closed them abruptly with no payoff or satisfaction that I don't know how I feel about this one. I remember watching some type of trailer and it was Pokemon related. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to tie it back into Star Wars. And in this trailer, the guy that developed the new Pokemon game that's coming out, Pokemon Sword and Shield, for those of you that are watching this in the future, somebody had asked him something about why they continue to drop features from their games and you never see them again. And they answered with something along the lines of, because we want to surprise the fan base and something I need to get off my chest real quick just because you surprise someone doesn't mean that it's a good surprise like for example here are two examples of surprises and you tell me which one, if it's good or bad surprise number one surprise it's a birthday party you didn't know we were setting up a birthday party for you it's a birthday party surprise number two Surprise, I had herpes. You might want to go ahead and call somebody because you might need to get checked. All right, now you tell me which surprise was something that you would be happy to get and which one you wouldn't be happy to get. So just because you remove features doesn't make it a surprise or a good thing. If somebody likes something, stick with it. And this was a problem that Ryan Johnson made when he made Star Wars The Last Jedi. He thought that, okay, well, if we just completely destroy and kneecap the entire story of the Disney Star Wars and just give Rey basic parents. Luke wasn't off doing some mystical thing. He was just a regular hermit that was running away from his past. And let's completely retcon the entire story of how, well not story, but let's completely retcon the entire idea of how hyperspeed works and let's completely cripple the rebellion to the point where it comes off as a dumb idea for you to have done the stupid escape pod thing to begin with, especially when you know that they can track your freaking escape pods. Okay, um, let me calm down. Every time I think about this, it gets me mad. But um, yeah, he destroyed all of the open storylines in that came from The Force Awakens and for what? For a surprise? Because nobody was expecting it? A twist? Surprise? There is no surprise. That That's not a good surprise! So, only thing they can do to make this movie good would be to completely start all the storylines over again, or open some completely new ones, and then resolve them all within one movie. I don't know about you, but whenever you try to shoehorn too much stuff into a movie, it usually becomes bad. So the fact that they're trying to put all these storylines and open them again and give us a reason to want to go and watch the movie. I mean, yeah, the like Ray being on the dark side, for example, is something. They just opened up a new storyline that was not originally there and they're trying to get us to go in. But the thing is, if she is planning on turning good again towards the end, then now you have to make an entire storyline dedicated towards getting her on the dark side and then resolving it in one movie. That's ignoring all the other storylines that were coming into this movie that either were already haphazardly ended or still kind of carry through, for example. Like, we don't know anything about the Rebellion being at the end of their uh, rope. I guess you could kind of tie uh, Dark Ray in with the connection she had with Kylo Ren. Like, there's a few things that you can carry over from the last movie, but how much screen time will they really be getting because of the Ray dark side thing? And then are they even going to address the whole Finn and I forgot the girl's name, but just a real FYI, I didn't 
really mind her in the last movie. A lot of people seem to have had a problem with the character. I have no issues with her. She was fine with me. I, only thing I didn't like was that kiss at the end and the forced romance between the two. And it's like, there was no romantic tension between the two throughout the entire movie. And now you're trying to force it. It comes off as bad. But anyway, that was my opinion. Let me know what you all thought in the comment section down below. Um, if you have anything else you want to add, like I said, just leave a comment. I'll be sure to check them out. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I'm Devon Da Vinci, and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future uh, video. Until then, I'm giving you the deuces, and I'm signing out.